So, it's officially been five years since Milo Murphy's Law first debuted on Disney XD, and one of the things people remember most about the show was its connection to Phineas and Ferb. From references, to cameos, to the crossover, the shared universe aspect of the show was a big deal. And as it was airing, I made videos compiling all of the references for y'all to enjoy. So today, since the show appears to be over for the foreseeable future, it's time to put them all in one video. Here we go. Look, the Maple Street Bridge. We left onto Maple Drive, and here we are. Hey, where's the OG? <laughs> Googly Moogly, it works! Great! Googly Moogly! Whoa. It's like Football X7! But it just got a brand new name, yeah, Football X7! Ow. Are you guys okay? I think I broke my thumb! Yeah. I can't believe we're getting extra credit just for going to an opera. To celebrate the linking of the two cultures. B Street, was that so hard? Yes! Hop in, everyone. We're going cruising. How would you fit an anchor in your backpack? You don't know everything about me. What do you say when a platypus sneezes? I'll go check my monetary manners book. You have a book on monetary manners? You don't know everything about me. It was the first day of summer. Everything seemed normal. I just finished assembling a cool science project in my backyard. Okay, I give up. What am I supposed to be looking at? No! It's not possible! I'm gonna go get the cart. It was right here and it was huge! Mom! Done! Ah! And no one can figure out what this one is. That's not helping! Potassium infinite What's that? You've heard of hydrogen. You may know boron. But of all the elements on the periodic table, none is more fascinating and less abundant than potassium infinite Everybody, please! All right, ladies. Lean! Lean! Ah! What happened to these platypus pajamas? Ah! Hot chocolate. No, I mean, why are they teal? Aren't platypuses brown? Someone's idea of artsy! <laughs> oh, 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 hey, hey! There's squirrels in my pants! There's squirrels in my pants! And pistachios! Obviously, there's also pistachios in there. Probably what attracted the squirrels. Squirrels in my pants! S I M P, squirrels in my pants! Got an Florence living in France! She can't see the squirrels! We had been to shopping malls all over the Quad State area. Being relocated away from your host family to this new family in the Quad State area. Just walk away. Stop that llama! Oh. <laughs> you don't have to build a roller coaster. Just find your own way to make. You're really into semantics. And you have too many chinchillas. The running of the chinchillas! Hey, guys! Let's take a rocket ship to space. I hear it's a real swinging place. Is it some exotic trip? You're flooding it. I'm not flooding it. Start the plane! Start the plane! Sounds like you're flooding I'm it. I'm not flooding it. I regret that I have but one life to give for my... The Jefferson County Motor Speedway! Does anyone have a magnifier? No 
Okay, honey, we're just finishing dinner. We'll be home in a minute. You can come. Ground beef with crumbs, some onions, and an egg. Ground beef and breadcrumbs, some onions, and an egg. Game over, man! We're finished. I'm gonna take it! Game over, man! Toboggans are not where you typically look for romance. Cause there's no way to steer, so you might hit a deer or get snow in your pants. Oh, but it's thrilling to be in a moving death trap like this, you can see. Then when push comes to shove, this could be a toboggan of love. It's not in the air It's not on the breeze And it's not in the trees And it's not in your hair It's on the water So I'll warn you well in advance If you're not looking for love Don't set foot on our boat of romance those plastic things on the end of shoelaces are called aglets? A-G-L-E-T, -E don't forget it. It's a Sara Barbie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah! Oh, the grievance. I saw this at the theaters. Ooh. No, it's the greasy grievance girl from the basement. Just cheap fabric. <laughs> Actuary camp for three summers. You went to Actuary? You don't know everything about me. Wait, you took grappling hook classes? You don't know everything about me. I'm scared. Of... Phineas, what's going on here? It's summer and winter together. Mama sleeps some animal. Santa. Uh, sir, what are you doing here? Having a schwitz. Would you look at that? Professor Time, my name is Milo Murphy, and we need your help. Wait, you're not the pizza delivery guy. This is my pizza delivery guy trap. 37 minutes of free deal from the local pizza guy can really make a difference. Just a second. He made me pay anyway. I vowed revenge. Cheap revenge. All right, now we're at season two. If you've made it this far, the amount of references is about to get a lot more dense. Let's start with the crossover. And since Phineas and Ferb characters appear throughout the season, only their first appearance is counted as a reference. The same thing applies to recurring Phineas and Ferb musical themes. Gotta figure out a way to escape. Yeah, good luck with that, lady. Well, what are you guys doing? Behold, the time travelinator! I'm gonna be someone important in the future. Me, who'd have thought, right? Right? You see, I have a problem. I am very fair-skinned. I don't know if you've noticed. I always have to use SPF 120 sunscreen. Harry the Platypus! Top priority message from Alka. Attention, doofenshmirtz. Here's the problem. No, wait, wait, no, no, no. Your honest opinion. We know it's a little weird. Well, down here next to Pizzazium infinii. Put a stop to it. Gary! Why? Now. 
looks like it's time to whack some weeds. Well, somebody's chatty. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want to say that? No, by all means. It's just that it's been a long time. Yes. Yes, it has. We begin our assault in three, two, oh. uh, Anybody got a mallet? Who are you guys? That's Candace Buford and Belgie. I'm Phineas and this is Ferb. Well, I'm Melissa and this is Zach. And why do you have a giant tennis racket machine? There you go. And we're here, 1965. Here we are, 20 years in the future. Isabella, wait, this is one of our satellite workshops. Not the one that's an actual satellite. The beam that hit you originated from the tri-state area, bounced off a space station satellite dish, and hit you in New York City during your fight. Is that one of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s? No, it's theirs. If we're gonna defeat those nut jobbers, it's gonna start here. Wow, this is pretty neat. So you really don't know what day it is. Well, I told you, it's Thursday. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad to see you. Hey, Phineas! What you doing? Without your super suit. Whoa! That's my pet, Platypus. He doesn't do much. Thanks, D.O.G. I'm pet's great. Well, he's a platypus. They don't do much. There's the mulcher! Could you guys use a blowtorch and some peanut butter? How can we not have met before today? We're gonna need a blowtorch and some more peanut butter. Oh, look, it's Vanessa's dad. You remember him. Yes, water should change everyone back. Um, isn't that a bit of a leap? No, I'm a scientist. I'm gonna go with him on that. <gasps> oh, that's it. I've got it. All I have to do is remember to... Ah, hey, look, I remember! You. Cool. Let's make like a banana and invert our molecules through the space-time continuum. Persevere and seize the day. Every minute of my entire day is planned out right here. Remember how you told me to seize the day? <gasps> Consider it seized! That's not exactly what I meant. Hey, uh, where do you guys keep the extra toilet paper? I'm asking for a friend. That was just the crossover. Now, on to the rest of season two. Welcome, contestant, to the Surface Dweller Game Show. Just throw out as many answers as you can as fast as you can. I must say, I'm quite chuffed to be out of the nut guarding bit. I can barely hear you. What's all that noise? Take your picture. I want to take your picture. Maybe the giant cannibal thing was a mislead. I think the dining set was his. <laughs> Guten Morgen, Agent G. You know what they say, the eyes are the window to the soul. Carl, what have I told you? We're spies, not poets. This episode gets a special bonus reference point because its plot is incredibly similar to that of the Phineas and Ferb episode, Misperceived Monotrine. Doofenshmirt Sable Incorporated! Behold! The shock absorber absorbing me! Get over to the... Ah! Oh, uh, hello! I missed the fluffy pants too! I'm just like, why, 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 no, 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 Fluffy, it's me, me, no! I'll call you Mr. Fluffy Pants because you're fluffy and you look like you're wearing pants. <laughs> oh, what kind of park has a cliff? Hey! Wow, that was at least three seconds deep. Now what are we gonna do for dice? Wait a minute, those bulky tissue boxes give me an idea. Why, if I built a roller coaster, I would... That's it! I know what we're gonna do today! Yeah, you don't know everything about me. Does anyone know how to get back to our dimension? We've got to get back to our dimension, and I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Listen to the spurs. <laughs> Uh, 
It's the Phineas and Ferb Musical Cliptastic Countdown. And now our hosts, from opposite ends of the moral, ethical, and philosophical spectrum, Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz and Major Francis Monogram. From the dark side of Badgertown Middle School, rain and storm. That's right. Me and my boys are headed to a rally up in Badgertown. What? Horse in a bookcase. It's a horse in a bookcase. It's a horse in a bookcase. Little horse in a bookcase. It's a horse. <laughs> Contestants, bake a cake using fresh. Heck, we're outdoors. It's a nice day. I got my tunes. I'm Lindana, and I wanna have well, fun. Well, at least it isn't the lumber, Zax. This week, where they go asks where they go. Oh, I can help with that. Drusselstein herding whistle. It reminds me of a story. Uh, wait, wait, what, really? You're playing me off? Okay, okay, looks like I'm all out of time. Thank you, Danville. I love you. Group hug, Murphy's. Heinz Doofenshmirtz. Me? <laughs> it's me. It's me, Perry the Platypus. Let's give him a big round of applause. Ice cream parlor, dip and scoop. Number 23, the egg beater. Spin cycle. Who knew lawn gnomes were of alien origin? Well, not all of them. This one appears to be from Drusselstein. What are you doing here? I'm one of the judges. I had a very popular skating video on the internet a ways back. Hi, Hi Bummer. Bummer. Martin and Bridget, a flash from the past. But hey, as long as you're here, why don't you join me for my evil exercise show? I've got a spare headband. Dance, baby, dance, baby, hands in the air, go down to the store and buy a wicked chair. So, can you tell us why the gnomes are so valuable? Oh, they're not valuable. They're disgusting. The aliens convert their waste into gnomes and use Earth as a dumping ground. So that's why there's so many gnomes in Danville. Morning, Agent P. Horse in a bookcase. Horse in a bookcase. Horse in a bookcase. Is that you? Welcome to the 28th Annual Substitute Teachers Conference. Today, we're going to be... I hope you brought enough gum for everyone. I did. There's the Tri-State Area. Welcome to the 27th Annual Substitute Teacher Day. We begin by... All right, who's the wise guy? I hope you brought enough gum for everyone. What is my science teacher doing here? I never miss a Phineas and Ferb party. I love slushy dog. We're on a mission to retrieve a piece of alien rubbish, not fill your face hole. So, Candace, you made a teddy bear at a baklava. It's 3.20 and we're supposed to meet an employee who reported it, a Mr. Johnson. Welcome to slushy dog. May I take your order, please? Sonic 3 or psychedelic band. How about a banana split? <laughs> Finally got your just desserts. What they got from Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Heinz Doofenshmirtz? Where are the boxes of robot parts for the science fair? I had some nice young man from school pick them up yesterday. Lugging boxes is bad for my posture. Was there a red light bulb in there?
Wait, the turn inanimate objects evil in Aether Bulb was in that box? I can't imagine I would have been irresponsible enough to... Oh, yeah, probably. I call it my turn everything evil in Aether. Here they come! All of my minions! <laughs> I could... I... So you're saying the word cowboy has absolutely nothing to do with cows or boys? Absolutely nothing. Got a bathroom to clean. Everyone else? There's pie. Oh, there you are, Perry. Ah, uh, platypus's life is a life of leisure. Yes, yes it is. Did I tell you guys how I was raised by ocelots? Oh, here's the bus. Thank goodness. Basically, my parents disowned me I was being raised by ocelots. The point is, I had to get a job at the carnival, but this is when that giant ball of tinfoil ripped the roof off my building. You saved us, Perry the Platypus! Did you marry the Platypus? Oh, this is where I got tied to that birthday rock. Ah! I wonder where he goes. Behold, the Shrinkinator! Shrinkinator? Why haven't I unplugged this thing? I keep leaving myself notes that I keep forgetting. Shrinkinator. Unplugged Shrinkinator. Ah, I'll do it tomorrow. See, it, it, it worked. It was, it's working. It's, it's functioning properly, at least. It's working! It's working! It's functioning properly! Time for the go home -inator. <laughs> Is everyone beholding? <laughs> the only inator we haven't ruled out that we actually have is the go home -inator. Meaning Perry the Platypus is home! <laughs> yes! Another victory over Murphy's Law! Victory dance! Oh, yeah, that's right. I got it. I got it. Look at me, mama. I'm like a cereal commercial from the 80s. Ow! Now somebody, anybody, everybody, scream! There's Rolls in my pants! Doofenshmirtz Good Incorporated, see? Doofenshmirtz Good Incorporated! I have no idea where that comes from. And afar in Castle Bar many months ago. No, no, we're cutting an updraft. No, we're cutting a downdraft. Updraft. Downdraft. Updraft. Downdraft. This is what I call fly fishing. <laughs> Land on the tent. Yep. Never mind. Great. We're going up again. Milo's picking up a copy of the new Doctor's. He's Milo the Great and his trusty backpack of holding. <laughs> See his. He revels in the chaos that he creates. He's Captain Chaos. Oh, please. Well, I've got to admit, this flying thing is pretty fun. Hey, look, there's Isabella. Yo, Isabella. Oh, here. Thank you. Seriously, who brings opera glasses to an auction? I'm at an auction? <sighs> nothing falling. Nothing exploding. So peaceful. Look at this! Look at me! I'm a horse with a toilet for a head! What's that even mean? Third grader. <laughs> End time. 
but I've invented a, a mustachinator! Of course I am sure that I saw what I saw. None of this is helping. We have to take action, not conduct research. Wait, what kind of action? And now, behold the mind of my first images from beyond our dimensional reality! Okay, but wait, doesn't stuff just go wrong around you two? Yeah, won't that throw it off? Well, actually, the stuff that goes wrong around me is different. It's caused by my, uh... Um, Stupidity? Incompetence? I was gonna say poor planning, but thank you for that. Doofenshmirtz, you finally made an innator that actually works? Hey, all of my innators work. It's just that, you know, I, I don't use them properly. I have poor planning skills. But it was me. I have the blueprints right here. Oh, right. Let's go outside and see what Dr. D's up to. Now you've got a fighting chance. Houston, we've got a situation. Better stay by the phone. Hey, Dr. D, what you up to? Mmm, this is the best ice cream I've ever had. Oh, that's right. Houston, we've got a situation. Better stay by the phone. It's a brand new lunar day sensation. So don't know what full cold. We got chocolate, vanilla. But we don't have Rocky Road. We left the marshmallows at home. I blame Baljeet. Hey, what do you mean you blame Baljeet? Well, it, it was clearly your responsibility. Where are you getting your information from, disembodied reggae space voice? Hey, I have a name, you know. Oh, yeah, what is it? Well, it, it's disembodied reggae space voice, but that's just a coincidence. You didn't know oh, that. Oh, look who is sensitive. Besides, Buford could have brought the marshmallows. Hey, leave me out of this. Guys, guys, we have a little bit of time here. Baljeet, could you please stop arguing with the soundtrack? He started it. I'm hoping that this body will work with Norm's head. Who are these people? Oh, sorry, Norm. This is a whole new series of events that have transpired. Oh, this one's a chicken replacinator. You shoot something, it switches places with the nearest chicken. <laughs> Thanks to my brand new chicken replacinator! Back, back, back! This beautiful device replaces anything it hits with a chicken. How funny will that be? And to help us celebrate, here to perform their oddly specific new hit single, Goulash, Love Handle! Sorry about your disguise. I know that particular shade of pink isn't really your color. Monogram to Agent P. Already airborne, I see. I like that. Two fish were shed in the backyard. Ow. Ow. Thanks for helping me, Vanessa. Ow. You know, I really, ow. I, I learned something today. Sometimes people on construction sites really don't ow. They don't want your advice. Almost got it, Dad. Oh, thanks. Look, Perry sent you a card. Missing you. What about Perry? He was your adventure buddy, right? Yeah, was. I miss the moments when we didn't get along. You have arrived on the eve of my farewell dinner! Behold! My adventure, buddy. Uh, uh, Scott, do you happen to have room for another adventurer? Wow, this is fun! And you get to meet all sorts of interesting people. Oh, I'm a trudging to get some water down this old and Road. I reckon there'll be more someday than just three sticks and... Wait a minute, wait a minute! The truth is, I've been feeling a little bit like a third wheel. But you're not a third wheel. I'm not? No, you're like some other vehicle altogether. It's like, we're a bicycle over here, and then somewhere over there, you're a unicycle, just going round in circles and juggling in a frantic grab for attention. Oh, I don't know. Lately, I've been feeling like a third wheel around you guys. What? No. I always thought more like Jeremy and I were two wheels 
And you were separate on a unicycle all do 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 Oh, who needs adventure? That, that's just asking for drama. What I need is a place where people accept me for who I am. You know, a place where they don't mind if I spread out and do my experiments. And then, you know, maybe a place where there's there's a strong parental presence and, and maybe some children to lighten the mood. And, and a young boy who, who shares my pension for disaster. But, oh, but where on earth would I find such a place? Ah, I'm home. Summer doesn't belong to me. It belongs to everyone, and that includes you. You have to believe that. Well, my summer's been a series of failures. I have a hard time believing in anything. Well, you got on this plane, you know, back when it was a plane, which means you believed in us. And we believe in you. And therefore, through the transitive property of belief, you do believe in yourself. Next, uh, it was the other uh, thing in that one movie with that guy. The other dimensionator? Yes. Well, it looks like you've totaled my other dimensionator. An other dimensionator? What does it do? Well, at the moment, it just stops giant shuttlecocks, apparently. So, you two hung out here a lot or what? Sometimes, but we never eat this much. A party. A cast party, you know. Well, every once in a while, I like to ride dirt bikes on extremely rough terrain. You, you do? do? You don't know everything about me. <laughs> it's a great party, Milo. Sign of how. Hello? I went to the circus with my parents. This guy's rhyming marshmallow with buffalo. And they bought me a bag of marshmallows. I was throwing it in the air. <gasps> Great googly moogly. They didn't think he was a cow at all. They were after him specifically. But it wasn't until I got outside the photo store that my life changed forever. I had a nemesis. <laughs> And that was how I first met Perry the Platypus. But it wasn't until I got outside the photo store that my life changed forever. I had a feeling that there was someone hiding behind the mailbox. I had a nemesis. Some of the odd purchases include biomolecular components typically used to make organic computers, a giant pilgrim hat, and, most curious of all, a huge pair of food booties. Come on, let's roll! What are you doing? Oh, gee, who are they? Just some old friends in post-apocalyptic battle gear. Okay, maybe friends are stretching it a bit. Jeepers! Sharona. 
And I don't want to study workers to get home. Ah. She's with Donna and she wants to have fun. She's with Donna. Hey, I appreciate you offering to help, but the trash pickup does actually go quicker if you get out of the van. Boys, I'm going to call your mother. Bye, bye. We'll meet back at the entrance in an hour. I really like the food court. There's something for everyone. I know what you mean. I love the smell of manga mix of China. Where's that swarm? What's that drone? Something's buzzing close to home. It's B day, and I'm feeling fine. This was belt testing day. I was gonna move up from Greenhorn to Buckaroo. Bell got a big old silver buckle on it one night. You should be doing your farm chores. Milking the cows, mending the fences, shucking the corn, plowing the fields, and milking the cows again. You can't just stand around, you know. I sure as heck give it a try. Good job, coach. Okay, My great-grandfather once saw something mysterious in New Mexico. There he was, happily plying his trade, cow punching. <laughs> it was a dangerous profession. Darn you! Then one day, he saw it. <laughs> what in the Sam Hill? Detected several cloaked UFOs descending over Danville. Looks like we picked a bad day to send all of our field agents to sensitivity training. Is, is this thing on? We got the chicken replacinator and the reducinator. Hey. One blast with this baby, and it'll turn all those negative probability ions into little itty bitty ionitas, as the Spanish would say. But how do we get Milo? So long, Christmas! You're Feliz Navidad to me! <laughs> See? It's a, it's a, it was Spanish. So there you have it. Every reference I could find to Phineas and Ferb in Milo Murphy's Law. This was improved using your comments from previous videos. So if you still think I missed something, leave it below. And if there's enough, I'll make a ones I missed video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you back in Dimension 1. <laughs> Alright, so I have absolutely no idea who's actually going to stay for this outro. But if you are, first of all, thank you for watching and for caring enough about the channel. And second of all, go ahead and leave in the comments, the comment Trowfaz, so I can go ahead and favorite it for you and give you the appreciation you deserve. The Hilda video has been delayed for some time. I'm working with some delays, getting certain parts of it cleared by legal teams, and it should hopefully be out soon. And this break between videos was not intentional. I have a lot more videos planned. It's just things have not worked out for the past couple of weeks. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Thank you.